Welcome to National Top 5 presented by Huddle. I'm Brett Kuntz with Allie Payne. Week 6 is in the books and this week's Top 5 is all about underclassmen power. We do have one senior holding down the fort. Other than that, I'd say the future of these teams looks pretty bright. Very bright. Let's rock. Coming in at number 5, Central Buck South and Nishinami out in Warrington, PA. Junior Bill Donahue is geared up at D-tackle for the Titans, showing the Nishinami line what is up. 6'1", 270, sacks the quarterback and the center, maybe. Throw some bowling into the mix. Central Buck would go on to win 52-29. They are 5-1 on the season. Down to Fayetteville, North Carolina, Terry Sanford High School and Union Pines. Quarterback Jordan McCray gets the snap, drops for the pass, but that's not going to happen. Let's dance instead. Is this the waltz? It looks like the waltz, Fred. Possibly. He avoids six defenders and knocks a seventh over just for good measure, and he's a junior. They go on to win 55-17 and are 500 on the season. The Soda Dragons at number three taking on Hillsboro High down in Missouri. Quarterback Zach Smith taking charge, tossing it up no problem, finds fellow sophomore Lamont Allen proving why he's the receiver. 30 yards later, 5'11", 175, unreal vert, get up and get it over the Hillsboro D, comes down with a snag to put DeSoto on the board. Wasn't enough though, Hillsboro goes on to win. Number two takes us to sunny California and gives us Lompoc High and the Rigetti Warriors. Keep an eye on offensive guard James Graham. He's right there, number 52. Running back Austin Hayes tries to jump the line for a short touchdown. The Warriors block him out, but he's never down. So he pitches it to James, and he will gladly trot it in for six. That's exactly how things were supposed to go down, right? Great. They go on to win 42-22 and are undefeated this season. And at number one, catfight in Pickerington, Ohio, the North Panthers and the Central Tigers. Junior running back Braylon Wilson in the backfield runs into the thick of the Central's D-line. He's just bouncing off all over the place. It's like an inflatable obstacle course, and he's free and clear. Shout out to the receiver Jay Williams for great blocking down the line there. And he's in. Or is he down? This is questionable. If it were up to us, Braylon would get the six. They'd be one touchdown shy for the win. Central takes it home, 30 to 23. With so many submissions, it becomes harder and harder to choose our favorites every week. But you know what? We love the challenge. We absolutely love the challenge. Get at us on Twitter, at Huddle, hashtag Top Play. You guys know the drill. Max Preps, Top 25 teams. Keep checking it every week because they're really good. And we'll see you soon.